Learning surgery, one point at a time. The scalp has five layers. The skin, the dense connective tissue, the aponeurosis, the loose areolar tissue and the pericranium. It is the dense connective tissue that contains the blood vessels. There are many techniques of suturing scalp lacerations like the simple sutures, the vertical mattress sutures, the horizontal mattress sutures, the subcuticular sutures and apart from these we have two other techniques known as the hemostatic sutures or the clovered stitch and the hair approximation technique. In this technique the bite is first taken through all the layers from the skin and then only through the connective tissue on the opposite side, again through the connective tissue on the same side, again through all the layers on the opposite side and then knotted. This technique can be used when there is a lot of bleeding from the scalp wound. Finally, we have the hair approximation technique where after irrigating the wound, we pull together 3 to 7 strands of hair on one side of the wound and we need to do the same on the other side of the wound. We twist these two hair follicle bundles in 360 degree revolutions. We should not tie a knot. Secure the intertwined hair bundles by applying a few drops of derma bond and we repeat as needed to close the length of the laceration. With time, the derma bond gets absorbed, the hair is restored to its normal position and the wound heals on its own.